All right, we're going to jump right into this thing. When is sterile pressurization required? We often associate sterile pressurization as a requirement for high-rise buildings. The real answer is that a mechanical pressurization system is not a code requirement at all. What? Let's start with some definition. A high-rise building is a building with an occupied floor level greater than 75 feet above the lowest level of fire department access. A smoke-proof enclosure is an exit stairway or other vertical component of the building, such as an elevator hoistway, that's constructed in a way to prevent the movement or migration of smoke from the area of fire origin to a other floor, such as higher up in the building. So, a smoke-proof enclosure is required for a high-rise building, but a mechanical pressurization system is not necessarily. Huh? The code actually portrays the most direct path to provide a smoke-proof enclosure is to provide an interior exit stairway with an exterior balcony or a ventilated vestibule. Section 909.20 of the IBC. Section 909.20.5 of the IBC actually has sterile pressurization as an alternative to that method. Although the sterile pressurization method is an alternative, it is the most commonly seen method of providing a smoke-proof enclosure. This is mostly due to one item, space. Square footage is dollars, and the more space that can be saved, the more rentable area and amenity spaces that could be provided. And there you have it. When is sterile pressurization required on your project? One more note. Now keep in mind, a sterile pressurization system is an engineered smoke control system. And therefore, the provisions of 909 in the building code do apply. This includes the issuance of a rational analysis. All right, as part of this second blog, I have a giveaway. I have one PBFPE hoodie sweatshirt left. It's a double X, got our logo there. Very soft, very soft. If you like this blog video, comment on it and share it. I'll put you in the running for it. I'll ship it to you out in a couple of days.